Welcome friends, welcome back to After Dark where we are exploring cocktail recipes. Uh, and today we're going to do the Manhattan three different ways. But I'm not gonna go too much into the history of the Manhattan um, or the origin story because it's all disputed and pretty much every origin story has been proven wrong. Um, so we won't go into that today. And I don't wanna go too much into the history of the evolution of this cocktail either because between 1884 and 1950, I can find at least 16 or 17 completely different Manhattan cocktail recipes in cocktail books. So today I'm gonna to stick to the three most popular contemporary Manhattan cocktail recipes. This is a very simple recipe and it's one of those recipes where there is nowhere to hide. Um, it's essentially whiskey, vermouth, and bitters um, with either a twist of lemon or a maraschino cherry. So the outcome of your cocktail depends very heavily on what you choose in terms of your whiskey and your vermouth. The only other decision you're gonna to have to make is how you're gonna serve this cocktail. Today it usually comes in a rocks glass or an old fashioned glass with a lump of ice and the cocktail was probably built in the glass. Traditionally it would have been built in a mixing glass and then poured without ice into a cocktail glass. I've seen a lot of recipes that call for one of these very early martini glasses and I've also seen it uh, called out to be put in a Nick and Nora. And when you serve it in one of these glasses, you don't serve it over ice. You chill the glass ahead of time. All of the chilling of the cocktail comes in the mixing glass. So I'm gonna put some ice in each of these just to start chilling them down. And there are pros and cons for both approach. If you serve this in a rocks glass over a lump of ice, your cocktail is gonna stay cold the entire time you're drinking it. If you do it this way, you run the risk of your cocktail warming up. Conversely, in a rocks glass with a lump of ice, you can run into your cocktail being diluted too much by the time you get to the end. And so it's a trade-off and you have to decide what is best for your drinking style. I kind of like it clean in, uh, in one of these glasses. So, into my mixing glass, I put some ice. And the first one that we're going to make is the Sweet Manhattan. Um, which is the one that probably most people are accustomed to. Now, I'm gonna use this straight rye. This is a craft rye made close by here in Toronto. And first up is two parts rye, and then one part sweet vermouth. two dashes of bitters, if you can actually get it in the mixing glass. And then you just stir it up. Now I'm gonna serve this in this cocktail glass. So out goes the ice. And we just pour it in. And this one gets garnished with a maraschino cherry. And so this is the sweet Manhattan, or if you just order a Manhattan, this is probably the one you're gonna get at a bar. Yeah, nowhere to hide in that. Um, you get the rye right away, that spicy, spicy rye. If you used a bourbon or another kind of whiskey in this, you'd have a completely different flavor profile. Um, the vermouth comes through just a little bit. It's not actually that sweet, even though it's called a sweet Manhattan. Um, and it's one of those things where as much as I said two, one, two, two parts whiskey, one part vermouth with two dashes of bitters, feel free to play with that um, and you know really make it your own and dial it in exactly how you want it to be because your variation within the whiskey and the vermouth, you might like a slightly different ratio. So that is the sweet Manhattan. Now we're going to make the Manhattan Dry. Now the next one we're going to make is the Manhattan Dry or Dry Manhattan and you guessed it, it's um, exactly the same except it uses dry vermouth. So, start out with our rye whiskey. And then dry vermouth.
two dashes of Angostura, maybe three, and we just give that a stir. Okay, serve this one in this martini glass. And it gets a spritz of lemon and then just ring the glass with the lemon just to get the flavor on there and then drop it in. And so that is the Manhattan Dry. Ooh. Okay. Um, the same but completely different. Does that make sense? Still have a really spicy, you still get that whiskey, that rye whiskey coming through and that spice. Um, but even though this one wasn't sweet, you can tell that this one is really dry and it's, you get that pucker in your mouth um, and the lemon is much more forward than the maraschino. The maraschino is there, but it's not adding a lot of flavor, whereas the lemon jumps right out at you. Um, top of the pile. Okay. So the next one, um, the third and final one, is what's commonly referred to as the perfect martini. Um, and that's not, that's not what I call it, that's what it just seems to be called in all of the cocktail books. Um, and so it's essentially the same but different. So we're going to start it the same, we're going to start it with our rye whiskey. We have a mixing glass filled with ice, uh, two ounces of rye into the mixing glass. Now, half an ounce of white vermouth and the same of the red. And two dashes and then a stir. We'll serve this one in a Nick and Nora. So I'll just dump out the ice and we'll pour it in. And this one gets a slice of lemon as well. So I'll peel one off. And then we'll just trim it up so it looks nice. Presentation is key. Again, a little spritz of lemon, and then rim the glass, just to get that flavor on the rim and into the cocktail. Okay. Interesting. I know that they call that the perfect Manhattan or Manhattan perfect. I don't know if it's for me though. Um, I think of these, Three, I would choose the Manhattan Dry first, then the Manhattan Sweet, and then the Perfect Manhattan. Um, I don't know. Ah, who am I kidding? Drop any one of those down in front of me and I would enjoy it. So here's the thing, you could probably spend a lifetime trying different whiskeys different vermouths, different combinations, different proportions, trying to find the right one. And I encourage you that if you want to make a Manhattan, don't think that you have to follow the recipe. Play with it. You have to drink it. You should enjoy it. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.